Hello and welcome back to Eagle, Eagle Kids Online Service. Wow, it's so fast, right? It's been one week and we're back to worshiping God again. Yes. I can't wait to praise God and listen to God's word. Yeah, I'm very excited. Okay, then let's begin the service with prayer. Let's pray together. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for today's service. We want to begin it with you, Lord Jesus. We want to hear your voice through your word. We want to worship you and we want to praise you wholeheartedly. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Okay. Um, hey, do you guys prepare your offering money? Of course. My offering money is right here. Hmm. Um, uh, where is it? Ah, there you go. Ta da! Hey, hey, uh, hey! Yeah. I bring two, look! Oh, how is it so crumpled? Here. Uh, you should what? not do that. We want to give the best for the Lord, right? How? So, at least you should do it like this. You should straighten it up. Oh. First, you straighten it up. And then you fold it into two. Oh. That's better, right? Yeah. Okay. Wow. There you go. It's okay, then. Okay. That. Thank you, Kenny. Thank you. Oh, yeah. I also bring my Bible and also. Oh, here. My notes. So ah, that I can. So you bring your Bible and your notes. Yeah. Uh, How about you, Candy? Uh, I, 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 I just bring my cell phone. Uh, oh, it's okay. It's okay, no problem. Okay? Yeah. Don't worry about it. Let's oh, yeah. praise God. Have you guys gone to the toilet yet? Oh, yes. I already gone to the toilet. I've done Have it just now. Okay. Good, good, because the service is about to start. Yes, and we won't miss a single thing about the service, okay? Okay. So, let's praise God together. Let's go. Kids, we must be glad and love with our church because this church is the place of God and His glory. So let's express it by singing this song joyfully. Jesus alone. 
fun to praise the Lord. Yeah. Um, Candy, I noticed that you uh, busy with your phone. You're playing while we're praising the Lord. Yeah, we're in a Sunday service right now. Huh, it's not a big deal. Look at those. There are some who play with their cell phones too. Not only me. I mean, that's right. But although some does also use their handphones, doesn't mean you have to copy them. It's best if you don't use our phones. And we have to pay attention and respect God. Yes. Also, you distract yourself and also other people who wants to praise and worship God wholeheartedly. Oh, it's like that. All right. Okay, okay then. Now so let's you will be... keep your phone, yeah. okay? And we will continue praise God, okay? Let's now go. let's be let's attentive go. and pay attention. Okay, let's go. Kids, now let's prepare our heart to listen to the word of God. We need always being close to God because we never know what will happen tomorrow. But God knows. So let's worship Him and we want to express that we love Jesus more than anything in this world. Let's sing this song. On the mountain top, you are here. Night full of tears, you are here. Jesus, more than anything I 
Jesus, we love you more than anything in this world. Thank you, Lord, for your grace. Now we are ready to listen to your word. Please speak to us, Lord, so we can obey and listen to it. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Amen. Hi, everyone. So happy to finally see you again. How are you today? I bet you all are doing great, right? And aren't you happy today that we can go to church again, that we can maybe view online, we can gather around together and praise the Lord and listen to His Word together. That's why today I'll be sharing to you something important, simple, yet very important. Now, can everyone say with me, I love my church. Can everyone say with me again, I love God's house. That's right. You must love the Lord's house. And today I'll be explaining to you three simple ways how we can love the Lord's house. Now before that, let's, let's all open Psalm 26, verse 8. In the new inter NIV version, it says, Psalm 26, verse 8 says, O Lord, I love the habitation of your house and the place where your glory dwells. Let me read that to you again one more time. I love the habitation of your house and the place where your glory dwells. That's right. Now from here, we can learn that even though God is omnipresent or God is everywhere. So right now I'm here, He's also there with you. So that if we're here in church, let's say in Surabaya, He's also there with you other, in other places. So even though God is omnipresent, but His presence is strongly felt in church. That's right, God's presence is strongly felt in church. And why? Because simply put it this way, the church, it's a place where His people listens to His voice and where He listens to His people's voice. That's right, it's a place where you listen to God's word and where God listens to your cry. So I encourage every one of you, if you can go to church, if you can come here in person, please come. But let's say you couldn't because your parents don't allow you yet or maybe other things are stopping you. That's okay, you can, you can, you can always listen to it online through English service online or through other other services that we have in the Ethical Kids channel. So yeah, one more time I say that going to church is important and that besides that, what's equally important is that we must love the church. Why? Because when we love the church, even though let's say we couldn't go to the church, let's say we end up not feeling well and we end up having a high fever, we may not be able to go to church but our love is still, our love is still for God and also still for His people. That's why also I would like to open another Bible verse with you in Hebrews 10 verse 25. Here in the NLT version, it says, And let us not neglect our meeting together, as some people do, but encourage one another, especially now that the day of the Lord is drawing near. Yes, so like what I said, going to church is important. Now maybe some of us, we feel like we are, we are forced to come to church, but right now we must learn to love the church. We must want to love the church. And like what you saw in the previous skit, it, the, the kid there, she really was enthusiastic to go to church. She even told her mom, Mom, why didn't you wake me up? I want to go to church. Mom, why, 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 why are we late? Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. You know, being children, in, in being God's children can sometimes mean, simply mean being happy to be in the church. Like, like let's say many people here, we, we enjoy being in church. Now, I'll, I'll just explain to you and three simple ways like what I told you. What should we do to love God's house? And what should we do to, to love the church? Now, the first point is to simply love God's house. Can everyone say with me, I love God's house. Yes, you love God's house, right? Now let's say me, I love my house. So what, do, what does it mean when I love my house? That I enjoy being in my house. And even though you may say, no, but my house is not as nice as my friends. But hey, in your house, you can sleep well, right? You can watch television, you can play together, you can invite your friends over with, with the allowance of your parents, of course. So. Yeah, what we must do to love the church is to some, sometimes simply come to church on time. Let's say the church service starts at like 11. 
we can come at like 10.50 or 10.30 or maybe, maybe 10.55. But if you're late, hey, that's okay. Just don't do it again, okay? Even I, sometimes I'm late too. But we must try to keep on time and to be in, the, to be in church on time. So what can we do to love God's house is to simply come to church on time. When you come to church, you can sit down first. What I like to do usually is that before every service, I sit down, I fold my hands, I close my eyes and I say, Dear Jesus, thank you for today that you've let me come to church again. And right now, please bless Lord so that I can listen to God, your word and that I can praise you together with my friends. In Jesus' name. Yes, that's what I do before every service. Usually I sit down and after every service, I would pray too. What you can do, maybe you can pray together with your friends and you know what, you know secret? That church is always better, always, no, church is always more fun with friends. Yes, that's why. If you have friends in your neighborhood probably or in your school, you can say, hey, hey guys, come on. Let's go to church with me. Let's go to church with me and let's have fun in church. Let's have fun, let's, let's worship God. And maybe you can say, that's okay, afterwards we can go eat or we can grab ice cream. If, if your parents allow you, okay? You can say, hey, let's, let's have fun afterwards, but right now let's focus. And what you can do is also to follow the, the praise and worship in each song. You can, you can jump for the Lord or you can clap your hands. You can follow along lyric by lyric. You can dance around and don't care what others think of you. You can just dance around and be crazy for God, right? You can be crazy for God and you can you can follow the praise and worship with a joyful heart. And what some other simple things is that you can, you're not playing your phone all the time, except if you're taking notes, or except if, like you say, someone is calling you. But you must focus in church and you must not talk to your friends, even though I said, go to, your, go to church with your friends. But sometimes, sometimes we do feel the temptation of, of talking to our friends. But let's learn to control ourselves, okay? For we must love God's house. We must love God and we must love God's house. And the second point, number one was to love God's house. And the second is to keep God's house clean. Now, did you know that even Jesus kept his house clean? Now, let's learn from this story, from this Bible story that I'll be telling you about. Today's Bible story comes from Matthew 21, verse 12 until 16. Maybe you can read it at home afterwards. Now, in the first picture, Jesus went to the temple of God. But, but, when he got there, he was so surprised to see many people buying and selling in the temple of God. There were people selling cattle, sheep, doves, and so on. And this didn't make Jesus happy. Now, in the next picture, you can see that seeing this, the Lord Jesus became very angry and started driving out all the people out and casting the people out away, casting people away from the temple who were buying and selling in the courtyard of the temple. He, he overturned the tables of the money changers and the benches of the dove traders. And Jesus also said that it is written that my house or God's house will be called a house of prayer, but you have made it into a den of thieves. So here we learn that even God, even Jesus kept God's house clean. Now what I say, keeping God's house clean, you don't need to like turn the tables. You don't need to turn, cast people out or kick people out of the church, no. But these people, they weren't selling like, maybe you say, hey, is it okay, but we sell coffee at church. Does that make God mad? No, because these people were selling, not only were they selling cattle, sheep, they were also selling other things that made the Lord sad. Let's say, let's say, this is not correct, okay. They, they sell a contract that said, if you sign this, if you buy this for probably two million, you will enter heaven. So they started to sell things that made God sad, that made God angry. So here, Jesus kept God's house clean, both physically and spiritually. Now, spiritually speaking, keeping God's house clean, we must come to the house of the Lord with a clean heart, like what I said. And you can see in the previous sermons of Evil Kids, that, but what we must do, what I will be talking about is that how we can keep God's house clean physically. Maybe sometimes it's, it, it can be simply like this. Maybe simply we're not throwing trash around the church or maybe we don't rip the, the offering envelope and maybe we can like not draw on the church walls. 
And some, sometimes that, sometimes we can also, as simple as not messing the instruments, and sim just simply coming down, sitting down the church, talking to your friends outside of the service time, but when it comes to service time, we must focus. So keep God's house clean, okay? So if you have trash, you can keep the trash first, or maybe you can throw it later. You can throw it in a trash bin. Don't throw it to your friends, okay? So you can throw it in a trash bin. So the second is to keep God's house clean, like what Jesus did. And you know what happened after God kept, Jesus kept God's house clean? The Bible states that many miracles happened. You know, many miracles have people got healed, people got saved, and many children came to worship God. And they also shouted, Hosanna to the son of David. Many miracles happen once you keep God's house clean. Did you know that if you keep God's house clean, miracles will happen too in your life? What miracles? Maybe some of your friends will, will go to church because of you, because they see your example, or maybe some Older people will say, hey, look at that kid. He's keeping God's house clean. Maybe I should keep God's house clean too. So can you promise me that you'll keep God's house clean? Can you stretch out your finger like this in? Can you promise? Pinky promise? Okay. And my last point, third point, will be simply to pray for God's house. Now you see the revival that's happening in GMS or ROSC. That's happening in us. This is happening not because of of our mind, but it's because first because of God's favor, God's kindness. Second, it's also because of our, if, because of men's prayer, the GMS prayer. We keep on praying. We say, Lord, we want revival. Lord, we want revival. So after this, what we're going to do is that let's all pray for our church together. Let's pray that God continue to have this revival in our church. And we pray that one day, not one day, right now, you and I, let's, let's help build churches. How you say, but I don't have money. No, 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 it's okay. For our vision in our church is to build, is to build God 1,000 strong local churches with 1 million disciples, not 900.9999 thousand. So if, if you contribute to one soul, you're contributing to 1 million soul. Did you know that? So you have one per 1 million. It's because of your prayers. That's how powerful your prayers are. Now, simply, what can we do to love God's house? Number one is to love God's house. Two is to keep God's house clean. And three is to pray for God's house, which we're gonna do right now. And let's, let's all just simply do this. Let's all fold our hands and close our eyes and let's pray for the church. Can you follow me? Repeat after me, okay? Dear Jesus, thank you that you put me in church. I love your house, O oh Lord. I want to keep your house clean and I want to continue to pray for your house. Now I pray that you continue to expand the ministry in GMS and even in other churches. Teach me, O oh Lord, to love your house more and more each day in Jesus name now everyone can you lay can you lift your hands like this and I will pray for you dear Jesus thank you for today that today we learn the importance of loving your house oh Lord today we learn that sometimes loving your house can simply mean keeping your house clean and sometimes can mean praying for your church and to love your church and I pray that these children oh Lord you see them behind the screen right now for I, all I can see right now is a camera, but what you see is each children, each revivalist, Lord. And I pray that through Eagle Kids, through this, you were born revivalist, Lord. That Eagle Kids will be a house of revivalists, where revivalists will be sent all, all over the nations, will, be, will bless Indonesia and even beyond. I pray that each one of them will contribute in helping at least one soul, oh Lord. At least, that's the least I can ask. And I pray that each one of them, that they can love the house of the Lord more. They can come on time and may you teach them your ways. And I, I give you God's blessing right now. And may, you, may, may your school be great and may your family life be great. And I pray that God will be with you in every aspect of your life and in every stage of your life. In Jesus' name I pray. Everybody say, Amen. God bless you and don't forget to hug your parents, to say to them that you love them, or maybe say hi to your friends and invite them to church, okay? See you, see you guys next time. Bye-bye.
Hey guys, right now we're doing our activity. Yes. Let's do it together. So I we're basically think... making the hmm. top of a hot air balloon. Oh. Okay. Um. Uh. Wait. Hold on. Hmm. Uh, wait. 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 Wow. Should so... I put it like this or like this? It's so I fun. Think it's so it has to be curved. Oh, curved. Yes. Okay. Can and I see yours? Here. Uh -huh. It's okay. You just need to put one on each area. Oh. Right? Like that. Wow. Okay. Okay. Put this in here. I got one. Hmm. All right. One more. One more thing. Hmm. This one is hard. I Green can't one. open it. Do you need help? Um, should I? Ah, oh, there you go. Okay. okay. Give it here. here. Okay. Uh, put okay. It here. So you put it there. Hmm. One more. Nice. Wait, is it like this? Like I'm done. This? I'm also done. Wait, Have wait, you guys wait, done? Wait, hold on. Uh, Are you done? I'm done. Yeah. Ah, okay. Nicely Yay. done. But Candy, why did you throw your tape all around the floor? Uh, it's so? not tidy. Oh, oh okay. Um, loving the house of the Lord means also uh, clean oh, our yeah. place, right? Oh, okay. After we do our activity. I will yeah, let me help friend. you. Yes. Wow. Okay, let's clean it together. Yay. So, oh. okay, oh, yeah. you missed one. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> Yay. So, Yay. much better now. Yeah, that's right. right. For example, loving God house is to not litter, and praise God seriously, pay attention, and also give the best to God. Oh, wow. Thank you, friends. I learned to love God's help from you guys. I love my church. Let's say one more time with all friends at home. Yeah. I, I love my church. church. Uh, you oh. know what? I think we should do our game now. Yes, Whoa. it's game time! Yay! So, today we will play What's Missing? Oh, how do we play? How to play? So, we will show you, friends at home and you guys, a we, picture with oh. objects in it. It will be the same theme, objects, so many objects, and you will memorize them. Oh. After it, after that, we will erase some of the object. Oh, oh so okay then. we have so, to memorize it first and then we have to guess it. Yes, you have to guess what's missing. Wow, okay? this will train our brain memory. Okay, so let's start with this picture. What's let's missing? play. Oh. Okay, so this is a clothing item. Wow, right? Whoa, there's this a... Item yellow. that you can found in your Whoa. There's a uh, yellow hoodie wardrobe. thing. There's a raincoat. Yes, oh, yeah. red cap. Red wow. shoes. Blue cap. Oh yeah. Uh, I see green sweater. Some okay. shorts. Now memorize it, guys. Yeah. Okay. We will count together in okay. five, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, okay. No. Oh, What's missing? Something is missing. Whoa. Wait, I think the yellow hoodie. The yellow hoodie is gone. Ah, yes. Oh, yeah. I think it's a raincoat, right? Yeah, there's a raincoat. Friends at home, can you guess can what you other help? things are yeah. missing? Can you help us? Yes. Um. I think the missing item is the blue cap. Oh, blue yeah. hat. The one oh, that you yeah. Yes. Yeah. Friends it's at home, the please help me. Top uh, right there's corner. one more item. Oh, wait. I still remember. Next to T-shirt, there is a shirt and then pants. pants. Yeah. Yes, it's a Yay. jeans. You okay. know what? Let's find the answer together. Let's One, see the two, answer. three. Yes, Whoa. you guys are correct. Did you guys guess it too? Okay. Good job. Next picture. Whoa. So this is fruits. I love fruits. What's your favorite fruits, Kenny? What's what? your favorite food, Candy? Oh, 
Uh, I like strawberry. Oh. Hmm. How about you, Kenny? How about you? I like peach. Oh. Peach, well. it's sweet and sour. I yeah. love grapes. They're okay. so nice. So, let's count together. Let's go. Five, Five four, four, three, two, two one. one. Ooh, oh, songs are missing. Is missing. Whoa. Wait. Um, I think your favorite I think there are two fruits missing. is gone. Hmm. Um, what's your favorite fruits again? Oh, wait. Strawberry. Yes, oh, yeah. that's what's missing. Uh, and, and there's another one. Um. One can, place is missing fruit. Uh, can you guys at home help us? Yes. Yeah. How it, about it, friends at home? It's can you so guess hard. it? Do you can know, you memorize Kenny? it? Oh, under the pier, there is a watermelon. Oh yeah, watermelon. Maybe that's right. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh I, yeah. I, and I, I one cannot more seem thing. to memorize uh, it. Wait. Oh. I think I found it. You see, right here it's red and green, and right here is yellow. What's a fruit that is yellow? Oh, wait. Is um, it banana? <gasps> That's oh, not the yeah. answer. One, okay. two, three. three. Let's see the answer. Whoa. Wow. We're correct. Okay. Good so, job, good job, everyone. Good job. Next picture. Next. <gasps> oh, it's oh, a food I item. Love it. I love cheese. I love burgers. Uh, I love french fries. Mm. Wow. Okay. You guys so ready? Have you guys memorize it? Five, four, four three, three, two, one. one. Boom. Mm. <gasps> Whoa. Oh no. Thankfully, my french fries is still there. Yeah, and my burger. <laughs> Wait, hmm, where is yours? Missing? My favorite fruit is good. Uh, it's strawberry. Ah, okay, okay. Oh, yeah, And that's right. And then what's right. the other two, yeah? yeah? Oh, yeah. But I remember I think there was a cheese because a burger is not a burger without the cheese. It's yeah, cheeseburger, it's right? Yeah, it's cheese. Okay, so, and the other... I, I don't know. Uh, this I, one is oh, hard. I don't know. Once again. Um, let's just see the answer. Okay, let's okay, just see let's the answer. Let's go. One, two, three. Oh, ah, it's, it's chicken. a fried chicken. I fried love chicken. chicken. Yeah. Okay. Last one. Last picture. The last? Ooh, it's Whoa. a stationery. There's a lot of hmm. books in here. Lots of books. There is a book. Uh, I have a chair in my napkin. house. There is a pencil. Yeah. Okay. You guys ready? Let's count down. Five, Five four, four, three, two, two one. one. Oh. <gasps> oh, no. Something Songs are is missing. missing. Oh. Uh, What's at least missing? my chair is still there. Um, Come on, friends at home. Can you memorize us. it? Oh my gosh. What it, is missing? It's so hard. Hmm. What? What did you guys say? There's a chair, but no table? Yeah, maybe the missing is table. Okay. Oh yeah, table. What's um, the other thing, yeah? Kenny, do you know? I think I saw something with the triangle shape. Oh, <gasps> oh, oh. oh. Triangle, triangle ruler. ruler yeah. Oh, yeah. Right? Did you guys guess that? And one what's more, the one last more. item? Um, Besides the eraser. I think... Oh, 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 a pencil. Oh, yeah. Ah, yes. Yeah. Let's okay, see the let's answer. see the answer. <gasps> Whoa, yeah, that's you got it right. right. You're, so, you... that's it for today's game. Oh, wow, well, that's so fun. I'm pretty sad that it's done now. That was yeah. so fun. I love to join the Eagle Kids Surface. I cannot wait to join the Eagle Kids Surface next week. I love my church. Okay, friends at home, don't forget to pray for Rose of Sharon Church in another region, even in another country. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so, yeah. What region do you want to pray for? I think I want to pray for Rose of Sharon Church in Singapore and maybe in China. Hmm. Uh, oh, oh, uh, wait, 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 wait. Do we have Rose of Sharon Church in China? <laughs> it's called Faith. 
I know and I believe someday there will be one. Oh. Okay. How about you, Candy? Oh. What region do you want to pray for? Um, I want to pray for the rest of Shanghai in um Papua. Papua. Oh, that's good. Okay, friends at home, you can choose a region or a country, and you can pray for it with your parents. So, that's all for today's service. Okay then, and see, see you, you and God, God bless you. you.